Hey, welcome to my channel. And uh, today we're going to be uh, discussing uh, sort of the history of the McDonnell Miller Unimatch. And we're going to kind of go backwards in time. And we're going to start off with the latest version, uh, the WFE-24 McDonnell Miller Unimatch Universal Water Feeder. Pretty much the same form factor as uh, the others, um, but uh, you got a couple of differences here. Well, of course, they're still using the um, the S45 uh, solenoid valve, uh, only it no longer says Invensys. It's now scrubbed clean of any other markings. And the case is a, uh, rather than metal, is now a uh, high impact, um, probably, uh, see, this is probably glass filled. Uh, it might not be. It's uh, probably a nylon uh, PA66. There is the um, secret. Uh, settings for the micro switches here it, it has four little settings so you, you can get a good view of that it has four settings uh, rather than the three and you can see the um, electrical panel has been completely redesigned um, We'll get into that in a bit. You still got a uh, three wire hookup, hot, neutral, and uh, trigger or W. And the LED, instead of just having two wires, now has three because it's now um, uh, two, two color. So let's light this up and find out what we got here. So we've got this set at two on which according to that is a 60 second uh, initial dwell. Uh, the feed is 60 seconds and it will feed uh, six cycles uh, before it um, locks out, uh, as I understand it. We're not gonna feed six cycles. We don't have time for that. So, so when it feeds, you've got the green light and now one of the features of this is that if you trigger it, I believe it gives an indication. Let's see if it does. Ah, there it gives. And it's... So it's giving an indication uh, that uh, it's getting a signal from the uh, low water cutoff that it wants a feed. And it's beginning to uh, time down. Um, they've, as I said, this is, uh, this is revision, uh, 1.2. I believe they're on revision 2.0 now, but, um, getting a look at this, um, brand new in the box and the supply house. Um, it is, uh, virtually indistinguishable. And I can tell. Um, again, the solenoid uh, for 24 volts is pink. They do put a label over here, over top of the connections, which say, hey, this is 24 volts, and now we're getting a feed, and it's uh, solid. And if we continue to do this, um, what would happen was that it would it would it's going to feed for 30 seconds uh, excuse me 60 seconds there's going to be a dwell for 60 seconds and so forth for about six times and then after that this will turn red and it'll lock out and will no longer feed um, again uh, you can uh, do that for yourself if you are so interested but uh, that's pretty much 
what's going on here. You can hear it humming away. Uh, let's see if you can see it. There's the, the flow restrictor. Uh, they do sell different size flow restrictors. So if you remove this and swap out the disc and put in a new disc, um, it will uh, allow you to control the feed rate. Um, there's the uh, strainer valve there. This thing has not seen a whole lot of service, uh, being relatively new feeder. Uh, we took it out. I think we swapped this with a, with a VXT, of course. Uh, there it is, still getting its, its feed. We'll set that aside. And this is going back in history. Um, whoop, whoop, went too far back. Go back later. This here, let's go this one. Uh, this is an earlier version, a couple of years uh, younger. Um, it's on this other cycle. Uh, this one has a power transformer. And uh, so this tells you that this is a 120 volts circuit, manual bypass, uh, feed indicator, but, and of course the uh, S S24. There is, let's see if you can get a good shot at that. That is the triple nickel um, integrated circuit, which is, there are billions of them being made every second. Uh, it's probably one of the most popular chips ever. Uh, it's the timer chip. That's sort of the heart of the, the timing mechanism. And uh, the advantage of it, it two advantages, it's, it's very inexpensive. And um, it is dead nuts reliable. Um, so let's compare this to the... 20 volt, volt circuit. Um, you should see this is green, that's pink. Um, power transformer, MOSFET. Uh, I did an earlier video tear down of this. The tear down to this is uh, virtually identical. Uh, the same uh, three terminals there. And now we go back to the past. That's probably first generation. Uh, it's the S S45, but it's made by Eaton uh, you know, Controls Division. Um, Eaton is still around, but they sold it to Invensys and did its thing. This is a a 24 volt circuit. This was still working when we uh, when we pulled it off. Still feeding, uh, still doing its job, uh, which is a testament uh, to its longevity and uh, to the um, robustness of the of the design. Um, the uh, it has no manual feed. Later versions had a manual feed. Um, the light did light up when it was feeding but that's it it gave no other indication um and it only had two wires so basically uh you it received it received the direct signal uh 24 volts or what have you there's you see the 24 volts on the transformer there 24 volts uh to to here and uh it would it would feed on the signal if you wanted the manual feed um, you had to have the, the, the three wire, you had to have it powered up all the time uh, to be able to power up the solenoid and then you had, then you had your trigger. Uh, you can wire this up with two wires, but then you can't use the, uh, the manual feed. So you can sort of see the, I sort of like the layout of this. Uh, it's very neat. Everything is 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 visible, and uh, 
and clear everything you can tell what it is and, and, and what it does in the circuitry, not that, that, that it, uh, the end user would um, be concerned with that. The uh, earlier version is, uh, uh, looks like it was designed by a single person um, uh, without much input from anybody else. Uh, this was probably part of a design team and uh, this here was definitely designed to uh, cut costs. Uh, they added a little feature, the, uh, the two element uh, LED, but everything else on here is designed for um, uh, in inexpensive uh, components. Most of the uh, sensitive components are on the back. Uh, it is potted, um, at least on the, on the other side. And probably in a few minutes, uh, this should be uh, should be glowing red. And uh, let's see if we can do that, and that'll that'll pretty much end this video. Yep. Another thirty seconds, perhaps. Yep. No, it's still feeding. It's probably got one more cycle, but. Uh, yeah, are we going to see if we can get this to glow red on me here? Because i got nothing more to say about this thing. Um, could talk about how the valve works. Uh, you've probably seen this on my other videos. This is a cutaway of the uh, S45. Uh, showing the, um, this is the inlet. And this is the uh, strainer. Uh, the strainer uh, cap is uh, got a friction connection which closes it on the um, the 443P used by the hydro level Dima's valve. It's uh, got an O-ring which goes on a little easier, but the O-ring of course can 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 be nicked. This would where this here is where the um, flow restrictor would go. You would unthread this. This is difficult to unthread. This is a uh, seven eighths inch uh, nut and comes off and this is the uh, disc the valve disc that has uh, components in it and this is the uh, piston or uh, and um, uh, return spring in the uh, cap and this works on a principle of uh, equal pressure over unequal areas. So you got an imbalance of force uh, because there are bleeder holes which fill this upper chamber with water when this uh, is in the closed position and this uh, goes to close. When the solenoid pulls this off, uh, the pressure uh, dissipates from this upper chamber and the incoming pressure then lifts this off of the unit up and there we go. And we are red, which means it's fed six times, and it is—it's not going to feed anymore unless you do a manual. And then uh, you—you you got to take the trigger away. This is the jumper, and uh, now it's going back to regular, and it's reset, and it's ready to receive a, another. Wait a minute. Now it's ready to start another cycle. So that pretty much clears us of the McDonald Miller Unimatch. Top.